Hello and welcome here on Random Rotation. I hope you're all doing well. About one or maybe two years ago, I had this idea of a small box that connects to whatever camera you decide to use. And every time you record a video clip, it automatically would record tracking data for you. And that tracking data can later be transferred to your compositing or 3D software, whatever that might be, which if done correctly would make tracking in post obsolete. Because let's be honest, tracking is time consuming and can really ruin your shots if it's not precise. Sure, it would be even cooler to see camera manufacturers integrating this kind of feature into their devices in the first place, but it's gotta start somewhere, right? Well, the folks over at FX Home, best known for HitFilm probably, came up with a solution. That is pretty damn close to what I had in mind. It's an iPhone app called ChemTrack AR and of course, I had to give it a try. And this is what you see once you open the app. Pretty straightforward, I would say. Let me place a marker here in my scene and then I start the recording. The app is creating three files for me that I later have to transfer to my computer. On the left we have the actual tracking data that comes alongside with the footage itself and this Python script, which you do not have to understand. Well, I don't. In Blender, I'm starting with a blank viewport that just the way I like it. And now if you're importing HitFilm tracking data for the very first time, you first have to install the Python script that I just showed you. Preferences, add-ons, install, browse to wherever you saved it. In my case, that's the desktop. I activate it and then I can close this window here. Now I can simply import the hit film tracking data. It's also on my desktop right here. Give it a second and there it is. Let me zoom in here. A camera and this anchor point that I created in the app. Let me now look through my camera and here you can see we clearly have a tracking going on. Super cool, if you ask me. Now let's select the camera and load in the footage that we shot. We can work with images here or with movie clips, which is what I do. And again, it's on my desktop here. I created a JPEG sequence earlier just to make this a bit smoother and there it is cool right you can see this tracking anchor point whatever you want to call it and that guy is sitting in his spot it works nice all these keyframes were automatically created for us magic <laughs> no it's not but hey it's not super perfect um let me add in why not let me add in suzanne where are you here oh too big let's scale it down let me rotate it a bit on the x-axis like so and then um Duplicate it and let's 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 place it um, in the back here maybe one more monkey hat like so. Now with Suzanne in our scene, you can clearly see that the track is not super super accurate. But I have to admit that I didn't try too hard to properly track this scene. Took me maybe, I don't know, two minutes 
maybe three, <laughs> not more, I swear. And for three minutes, this is a pretty, pretty cool result, I would say. So I guess you can see this is not super complicated to achieve and I really, really hope they keep on improving this app. As of today, I think it's only available for iPhone users. Maybe there is an Android app on its way, who knows. And one more thing that is worth mentioning, I shot this test scene with the free version of the app. And with that free version, I was limited to only one of those anchor points. But in the meantime, I purchased the pro version, which is only around 30 bucks. Pretty okay price in my opinion. And it also comes with um, an import script for After Effects. So you can use this tracking data in After Effects as well. If you're interested in that, just let me know down in the comments and I can record a follow-up video to this one um, using After Effects. But now you know how to use Camtrack AR in combination with Blender. It's super fun, super easy and worth a try. Trust me. And that's it for this week. Like always, I hope you liked it and if so if you try this technique out for yourself please let me know how it worked for you or maybe what problems showed up during the process i see you in my next video and until then stay healthy stay clean bye for now